Man, oh man, for a minute there, I thought we were on a major roll. I thought Sideshow Collectibles could do no wrong. They have been producing amazing statues in 2024, going into 2025, really amazing stuff. You could, you could just see that there is creative freedom with their artists. Sideshow is taking it to the next level. However, I feel like this particular reveal, this is the Weapon X by Sideshow, a phenomenal piece sculpted by Martin Canale, which is one of my favorite sculptors. I love his work, and I know you guys, if you're watching this, you probably do as well. But the big controversy with this piece is the big increase in cost. Uh, this one is a lot more than a lot of the other previously released premium formats in 2024, which hovered around the $700 mark, sometimes a little tiny bit more, but this is, you know, nearly $300, $350 more. And so a lot of collectors are like, what the F, you know, they're like, what is going on here? Um, they're not happy. But again, people are choosing with their wallets, right? They're choosing what they're wanting. They are voicing their opinion with their wallets also as less and less people buy. So I am a little surprised on this. Now there is some uh, resin elements on this, some uh, translucent resin light up, things like that. Obviously that could potentially increase the cost, but we have seen light ups and res resin on much cheaper pieces. So, you know, I don't know exactly what the reason is, but we're going to be talking about it. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, guys, let's get right to it. And again, these photos are courtesy of Sideshow Collectibles. And this is a really awesome piece. I think it's, uh, you know, it created a lot of buzz. It created a lot of excitement when people first saw it. I think just the bubbles coming up looks fantastic. Um, just look at that. It looks great. It does have a light up feature, which is going to be phenomenal. But it's really that that bubble effect where he's kind of floating up. It just looks really great to me. Um, I feel like maybe at this price point, I feel like maybe they could have included some sort of glass dome, um, some sort of box that he could be in, um, because the price point is is higher on this one. Um, we're looking at one thousand twenty five dollars for what we're looking at here. Uh, this is the regular. There is also an exclusive version. Um, it has a different portrait, um, but I, I just think it's just awesome. I like the tubes. I know some people have complained that the tubes kind of go up to nowhere, but again, it, just imagine that he's in this liquid. He's in this, you know, this dome, um, but the sculpt here looks great to me. Um, I, I, again, I don't really know why the, the price is higher on this one compared to some of the other premium formats, but I really do feel like if they had included some sort of display option uh, with, a, with an outer dome, that that maybe would have justified the price just a little bit more. Uh, $1,050 for the uh, the exclusive that we're going to see here in just a second. But again, look at all the detail. It's so cool the way he's floating up. Again, you got the, the floating light up effect. Um, and there you can see the other portrait. Um, that is the bonus version where he's got all the mechanics on his head. Um, it's just very iconic looking. And I think that this one is going to be controversial to some degree because of the, of the price point. But I think just the artistry of this thing, it's beautifully done. It's beautifully um, sculpted, beautifully designed by Ian. And I just think it's awesome. I think it's a really cool piece. I like how creative it is. Um, and I, again, I just continue to be impressed by Sideshow's creative decisions. I think they've done a really nice job with their paint. The way they um, do all of this uh, lately has been really good, in my opinion. And I think, I think this one's going to be a big hit for a lot of collectors out there. But I'm curious as to what you guys think and are you willing to buy it knowing that it is, you know, about $300 more than most premium formats over the last year? So I'm going to turn it over to you. What do you guys think? I think the price point is a lot. Um, it is, it's almost a diorama though. So I guess I can maybe understand where the price point is coming from, but at the same time, you know, you look at some of the comparable pieces that were around the $700 price point, maybe $750. You know, is it really worth a $300 or $350 increase um, compared to what we've been seeing? Um, and so I think that this is going to turn some fans off. I think they're, again, I really feel like Sideshow was on, I'm going to say is and was on a really good roll. Um, a lot of positivity, a lot of amazing statues coming out by them. But this one, this one feels a little bit slap in the face-ish, but I'm sure that there are reasons. I'm sure that there are reasons. Maybe it is the Marvel license. Maybe it is, uh, you know, they cost more to have the Marvel license than, let's say, a DC piece. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know where we're going to be at with these pieces going into 2025. But again, 
I think it looks fantastic. I think the art direction's phenomenal. I love what Ian's done. I love what Martina's done. Absolutely incredible across the board. Um, but yeah, that price point, definitely gonna turn some collectors off. But it is what it is. So, you know, we've said before, people are buying less. You might just have to be more choosy with what you buy. But if you're a Wolverine fan, if you're a Marvel fan, this one might be a must, must, must have for your collection. So again, I want to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I really appreciate you continuing to watch all these videos. Uh, we are now on the road. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but we are now on the road to 200K here on YouTube. We just passed 170. I just cannot thank you guys enough for your continued support, your viewership. Um, and I know not everybody cares about every video every day, but I really appreciate when you do tune in. It means the world to me. So thank you very much. So very much. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you right here in the back cave, probably for some more DC stuff. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.